if the power was out in the area, we would be like an oasis in that we're the only people with lights and power. One of these days, I guess people will be knocking on the door saying, can I charge my cell phone? <laughs> or something along those lines. Yeah, we have 16, 250 watt solar panels on the roof, which gives us four kilowatts of DC power. From there, it goes to Solarflex wire, which is a special wire designed to work in the elements that can take UV. From under the panels, it'll go through the house. From the house, it goes into conduits, which will come into the garage. Now, this is a single phase DB board. From the house, you will have your, your AC, your, your uh, municipal electricity will come in. Yeah, we have 24 two volt cell batteries, which makes up 48 volts. This is a 48 volt system. These are um, flooded lead acid batteries, which are, are very long lasting batteries. They are designed specifically for solar applications. It all started about three years ago when um, we had a power outage that lasted about 48 hours. And being without electricity for 48 hours was a, a, a bit of a problem. And for the last 12 hours of that, we had no water either. So the problem I thought was that what, what would be the case if we actually were out without power for three months? And I, I then started to research alternative sources of power. And um, solar obviously seems to be the right answer because it's there every day. Uh, batteries are not very green. Uh, it's hard to recycle. Um, so something I would like to switch to is actually capacitors. And that, that's a project I would like to work on. I've, what I've seen here that the system is fairly self-sufficient. But what I also like to see is to make the system a lot more simpler and a lot more easier for installation. <laughs>